Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach, Jeff Copper. Our topic tonight is ADHD, creativity, and pressure. Before we get into the content real quickly, um, I'd like to make you aware of children and adults with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, better known as CHAD. This is a place where you can find evidence-based and evidence-informed information on ADHD. Just go to chadd.org. Also, catch our sister station, Attention Talk Radio, at attentiontalkradio.com. Okay, there's a lot of people with ADHD who consider themselves to be creative or, or are in creative jobs, and they find themselves stressed a lot. And really what I want to talk about today is creativity and stress. The, the, it's like oil and vinegar, the two things just don't mix. And it's really important that you understand this because to be creative in a business environment or on deadline is to live with anxiety. Um, one of the things, I first, I tell you what, let's first talk about what pressure does. And one of the things that I do is uh, whenever I'm trying to get the point across with somebody, I'll say, make me laugh, come on, make me laugh right now. Tell me something funny. Tell me something funny right now. Come on, be funny, funny. Come on, no, think. When I'm doing that with somebody, typically what happens is they just shut down. I mean, they can't think, they become paralyzed. If you think about it, coming at somebody like that is actually a very threatening feeling that really kind of kicks in that fight, flight, or freeze, that primitive response. And um, we've got another video on that. But in that moment, what I wanted you to notice is most people shut down. And that's why stand up comedy is so hard particularly if you're going to do improv or you're interacting with a crowd is because you never know what's going to get thrown at you. So understanding that, 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 that pressure um, just kind of kills your creativity. I also would in, encourage many of you out there who are creatives to go onto YouTube. There was a documentary that used to be on uh, Netflix called art, A-R-T and copy, C-O-P-Y. Um, there's a version of it on uh, YouTube if you just search for art and copy. I think it's like an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes long. It's The, the content is really on advertising. Um, and they talk about like advertising and a lot of great uh, advertising commercials. But if you watch it, what I want you to notice is on all the advertising executives, basically you'll notice they live um, just stressed. You know, they'll talk about how, you know, they're – they have an idea, their partner shoots it down, and then the client shoots it down, or the board shoots them down, or the focus group shoots them down. And the idea about creativity is it's coming up with a really good idea. And as I said, pressure paralyzes creativity. Um, and so when you're having to be creative on a deadline, it really shuts people down. If you watch the uh, movie Art and Copy, you'll notice is that the uh, advertising office rooms, often there's people with these basketball courts and nests and people are riding around on scooters and bicycles and stuff like that to facilitate play and facilitate that kind of creative process. So relating this back to you is managing pressure is an emotion and managing emotion and deadlines is very, very challenging, very challenging. And so for many of you, you feel anxiety um, and you're always constantly when trying to get rid of that anxiety. And I'll tell you that if you're a creative and you have deadlines, it's going to be very difficult to get rid of all that anxiety because it's built into creativity happens when it happens. But in the world, we need things on deadline. But the more that you can understand that it's normal to feel anxiety, we're in that, in that creative space. For many of you, you're able to distance yourself and step out of it. Um, it's also interesting enough to practice. I've done some other videos about managing emotions, whether you watch political views that are contrary to yours and catch yourself and taking some deep breaths and letting go and realize they're just words. Or maybe you, you want somebody to just sit there and you know pressure you to say something funny and practice relaxing into that stuff and letting go of the outcome so that you can bring forth some of that creativity. Anyway, I hope you've gotten some insight from this. Um, about the nature of creativity and pressure and just pressure itself. Um, and when you're in the face of pressure, one of the best things you can do is do what you can to reduce the pressure, step away from it, because again, sometimes it paralyzes you. With that, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button and uh, please leave comments. What are your thoughts on this and what are your experiences 
Do you have any tips or thoughts that work for you with regard to managing pressure? And are you in a creative environment? How do you deal with uh, that balance of, of trial and error creativity uh, with the pressure of a deadline? Hope you've uh, gotten something from this. Catch us next, for, next week for another, uh, another tip on Tension Talk video. Take care.